you know, if we had to give a theme to this month, it would be chasing candidates. Everybody's chasing candidates. Uh, candidate sentiment is uh, down. Uh, that means the uh, candidate sentiment went from 3.4 last month to 3.2 this month, meaning their uh, their interest in a new job. Uh, employers are for, for the second month in a row that we're tracking it raising salaries. Last month, the recruiter 42 percent of rec recruiters reported increasing salaries. This past report, it was 50 percent increasing salaries. Yet we're still trying to find these uh, these candidates. Uh, and it's getting really, really hard to do that. In fact, uh, the, one of the biggest sectors of growth we saw was actually recruiters, uh, companies hiring yeah. recruiters to help fill those talent shortages. That's a really interesting point. Um, we're seeing, I think Indeed was uh, one of the ones recently saying that they're seeing more employers using incentives to attract job candidates. So where do we go from here? I mean, is this all going to actually roll over once we hit September and some of the issues with seasonal help uh, lessen and we get past the uh, the additional jobless benefits? I mean, is it just is this going to be as bad as it gets, you think? Yeah, so I, I really hope that you're absolutely correct. And, and I really hope that come September, uh, people, kids going back to schools, schools that are opening, you know, you have to really drill into why are candidates staying at home? Why are they not even interested? Are they taking the summer off? Are they only going back to where there's going to be remote work? Um, what are there other reasons that they're interested in? I'll, I'll tell you one thing that was really interesting that we found, 67%, uh, the recruiters reported that 67% of the roles did not require a college degree. Now that's down from 71%. So all of a sudden now, let's open up the pool of people. Uh, the slide that you just saw was actually really interesting. So here we are. We have this incredible talent shortage. We're going to pay more for candidates. We're going to open up to a greater pool. Yet, in per while in-person actually stayed consistent, hybrid ticked up and remote actually ticked down. Hmm. So companies are saying, hey, look, I know we have a talent shortage. I know we're going to have to pay more for people, but I still want them to be in the office at least for a period of time. Do you think the people who want to stay home and aren't interested in looking are at some... I mean, to me, it overlays a lot with the kind of millennial generation who might be raising kids. And I, I went back and looked at the data, and once you hit 60% of parents, uh, both... Or once you hit 60% of parents with children working... It seems to be the ceiling that we hit in the late 90s. We kind of were up back up there, you know, in the middle of the 2000s. You know, is it is it unsustainable? And was COVID just an excuse, perhaps, for a segment of the labor force that maybe now says we're only one or the other of us is going to work for that to be kind of the new normal? Yeah, I, I think we're seeing. You know, there was a, an article the other day about it. Yeah, you know, working working mothers uh, who are now like to be at home. So I'm only going to take a job uh, where it's at home. I, I think one other thing that's happening is that. You know, if you were a candidate and last month you saw someone offering X dollars more and this month you're seeing even more dollars, maybe I'll just wait around until right. the number actually hits the, yeah, I'm going to hit the, you know, big bucks, no whammies and I'll, I'll hit that button when that actually happens. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.